this long house like this, so the sun comes up in the east and goes to the west. And that's why the long house is like that, follow the sun. And that's our sacred world, us Iroquois human beings. It's everything is following from east to the west because that's the sacred path of our old brother, the sun. If the sun goes out, there will be no more journey, no more path. That's what we follow that. So when that man taught us thousands and thousands of years ago when the world was new about our clans, this is what he said to us. In a Mohawk country, and every nation is a little different, but the same, same structure, but it depends on the clan designation. But in a Mohawk country, on the north side of our house, because if you know, uh, all the long house has two fires, one on the east for the men, and one on the west for the woman, and it's right in the middle. So it's like a demarcation. There's no line there, but everybody knows where them stoves are. And then in the middle, from the east and the west, right in the middle of the house, on the west half is all women over there. And on the east side, all men. So you don't sit with your husband or you don't sit in them. When you go in the long house, you, all men goes back to their mother, big babies. <laughs> <laughs> Any ceremony go on, all men has to leave their wives and they got to go back to their mommy. <laughs> and so all our house is filled with men sitting with their mommy's clan. <laughs> Some big ones too. <laughs> <laughs> and so it is. Uh, so now you have four sections of long house. So far what I told. On this side is uh, sitting north are turtles and wolf clan. That's their, that's their side of the long house on north side. And then on the south side is the bear clans by themselves. And so always bear clan by themselves. And them two is always together too over there, turtle and wolf. But when the Seneca and Onondagas and Cayugas came here and united us to the Mohawk country to live with us, because to place them so they can be part of our ceremony and everything, they had a meeting and the wolf and the turtle says, all the snipe and the deers and the eels that we have that came from Oneida or came from Onondagas or Seneca or Cayuga, how about you bears? I said, what do we allow? You adopt them in the bear clan because you are always by yourself all these years. Now you will have partner to help you. And the bear says, you're right. Send out everyone that comes over to us. We need lots of help. So the snipe and the deers and beavers and eels, what we have, they all sit with the bears to this day. That's why you're supposed to know, since you're a little boy, what door to go into when you go to the ceremony house. And what ceremony is going on, they sometimes change it. And then when there's a death, all those things is changed again because of death. And you got to know. So everybody know, got raised there, they always know. Huh? But it's only the people who wasn't raised like that, they get confused when they go to the house. They're, they're afraid to go in because they might go in the wrong door. <laughs> 
and, uh, and our older people likes to tease. They'll get a broom and they'll put it on your back end and they'll say, this isn't your door, <laughs> but they're teasing. <laughs> That's their way of teasing. But if you're not brought up that way to get teased, you might never come back again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way it is. So now, in a Moha country, you know, see, in Onondaga, they too are like that, except over there, they have longhouse. And right next to the longhouse, they have a, they call it mud house or cook house. And all of the eels and uh, different clan goes over there, and they call it their house, the mid cook house, mud house. And then at a certain time, the mud house and the long house comes together in the long house. So they have that two parties again, like the sun is going. And Seneca too. Seneca's, the deer, and all the bird clans are on one side. All bird clan except the deer is with them in Seneca country. And then the others are on the other side. And they got two system too. So everything has two. And when uh, they're going to talk to each other in ceremonies, when you stand up over on this side to talk to them, you have to stand up. And then you say, That's what you say. That means, my cousins, are you home? You're asking them. And if they're home and they hear you, they're going to say, huh. Then, then when you hear that, now you can talk to them. Whatever you want to ask them or tell them. Same thing, when they stand up, their first word is over there, then they say, my cousins, are you home? And then they say, uh-huh. Then they tell what they want. So every time you talk and stand up, you have to say that. Otherwise, it's not protocol. It's, it doesn't open the door. That's the tradition. Well, and they refer to each other as cousins. But they're uh, sort of unrelated. But they are cousins. They call each other cousins. In the Iroquois, everything is family. From small family, extended family, to nation family, to internation family. Everything is based on family. Even the Grand Council is. That's why they got older brother, younger brother. And I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to talk about that. Maybe I will. But that involves a lot of stuff. <laughs>